Pop'em. Welcome back to the Pop'em Don't Watch Them Whiskey YouTube Show. Troy back with a hazmat doomsday pour. Coming out of Cat's Eye Distillery in Iowa. If you have not heard of Cat's Eye Distillery or Optanium, you soon will. Just dropped here in Louisiana. And what a special barrel pick we got to do through Riverbend Market. 26 year old Canadian corn whiskey coming in. Listen closely. 155.6 proof. That is hazmat to the hazmat. You can't get any more hazmat than that. It's got the symbol on it. You can see it right there. Beautiful bottle. Wax the top. If you can see the sticker, the doomsday pour. Guys, let me tell you something. Cat's Eye Distillery is doing amazing things. Some of you have probably heard of Optanium. That is the distillery that is blending and making Optanium. And here it is right here. We have the light whiskey. I know a lot of you have probably heard of the light whiskey. They do 15, 14, 13 year old barrel light whiskey. That one's also hazmat. But a little bit about Cat's Eye Distillery if you don't know. It's founded by Gene Nassif and John Baker. The Cat's Eye name comes from John Baker's love of astrophotography. So he named it after one of the most famous pictures coming from the uh, Hubble telescope, the Cat's Eye Nebula, and it was born Cat's Eye Distillery. Their motto is they like to create unique and epic tasting products made from high quality barrels from across the world. These barrels are from all over the place and they wanna make it at a higher value than the competition. And in my opinion, that is exactly what they are doing because the price point of their products is insane. They are, for, for the quality and the age and the different types of whiskey you are getting, can't beat it. So they also do the Nassif Family Reserve that was originally blended by Gene Nassif for his wedding. It was such a hit, now it is one of their regular offerings. They do the Octanium Light Whiskey, so many different things. We also did a three-year bourbon that is finished in Lua Stout Barrels. That is an incredible chocolate bomb. But this is the one we had. We did River Bend Market here in Madisonville, Louisiana. I don't even know where to put this bottle because this is something you, you don't see every day. There's so much whiskey on the shelves now. So it's hard to find something that stands out, and boy, does this ever stand out. So this was distilled. I want, we're gonna, this is the kind of stuff that really gets me excited and makes, me, makes you think. This was distilled in 1995, guys. I was nine years old. I am 30. I will be 36 in September. Okay, so I was nine years old when this was distilled. And as you know, I mean, you can see, I'm a huge Yankees fan, die hard since before that, nine years old. And yeah, I know, you hate the Yankees, whatever. I don't need the comments and all that shit. We know you hate the Yankees, good for you. But where I'm going with this is, if you take a look, you know, I got Yankee stuff, it's Mickey Mantle's autograph above me. You got Yogi Berra, DiMaggio, but these four right here, that's the core four. Okay, that's Derek Jeter, Jorge Posada, Mariano Rivera, Andy Pettit. If you're watching the captain right now, Derek Jeter started his career, he got a cup of coffee in 95, but his career took off in 96 when they won the World Series, started the dynasty, beat your Atlanta Braves, eight straight World Series games. This was distilled. Before Derek Jeter started his Yankees career. That is insane to think about. This bottle sat in a barrel for 26 years. Derek Jeter's whole career. Your whole life. Think about what you've done since 1995. Since then, this was sitting in a barrel waiting to be discovered. And Gene Nassif discovered it. 
absolute insanity when you think about that stuff. That's the stuff I love about whiskey when you sit there and really break it down. But without further ado, let's get into the actual whiskey. So this is what is insane. It's just crazy about this bottle. 155 proof in my nose. I'm right in it. I'm right in it. I let it air. I did let it air out a little bit. But my the nose is just so much going on for a Canadian whiskey. You're getting a tropical, you get pineapple, you get pear, you get peach. But it all has a backing of vanilla and caramel sweetness and just the right amount of oak. It does have a great oak presence, but not what you would feel like a 26 year oak presence. It's not overpowering, it's just a perfect amount of oak. So much fruit and sweetness on the nose. I'm telling you at 155, that's why we called it the doomsday pour. Because <laughs> You're having a hard week at work. You're having a rough day. Take a pour of the doomsday and poof, it's going to blow it all away because this son of a bitch will sneak up on you. 155 drinks like 130. To Gene Nassif and the rest of the crew at Cat's Eye Distillery and everybody that bought a bottle, guys, this sold out in a day. The whole barrel sold out in a day at Riverbend Market. Cheers. So that first sip of the night, I did not warm up. I don't really like to warm up when I'm doing a review because I want the full experience, okay? Absolutely mind-boggling that that is 155 proof that is unbelievable your whole mouth goes numb sticks to the palate all the way through the finish there is no stoppage to the fin the finish is forever so you can actually really pace yourself with this pour because the finish I'm, you see, I'm licking my lips because it is all over the lips the palate it goes nowhere. It sticks around, and that fruit is all on the back end with a little bit of just a tad bit of spice, and that oak on the finish. Guys, that is just, as it opens up to, you just keep getting different fruits. It, it's such a bright tropical fruit pour with that vanilla, caramel, and oak. I'm telling you, I know this was a barrel pick, but if Cat's Eye Distillery is in your market, if it's not, start asking for it. If it's in your market and you see these bottles, because I've been to actual states and places where these bottles are just sitting, sitting. They do a plump jack wine finish, red wine finish. If you see any of the light whiskeys, Octaniums, finished in red wine barrels, Guys, you have got to buy that bottle. That is some of the best whiskey you will ever have. It's so different. That wine finish, it's, I can't describe it. You have to go buy it when you see it. Oh, man, let's get one more. Now it's, it's actually getting floral. A lot of floral notes now coming through. Such a complex whiskey for just being Canadian corn. But 26 years. <sighs> so dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this bottle can get you in trouble, guys. 155 proof to drink that easy. Man. And it just gets more and more complex. I said this in the local group when we were, I wasn't, I was not exaggerating. 
So far in 2022, this is the best whiskey that I've had in 2022. No doubt about it. Some people can disagree with that. I don't care. That's fine. In my opinion, so far 2022, this is the best pour of whiskey that I've had. Now, I know 2022 has been a little bit of a down year, but still, all these special releases that y'all, you know, everybody's going crazy for, trying to get, no doubt about it, this is so far for me, pour of the year. Really cannot wait to get it into the blind bracket challenge at the end of the year to see how it does. Could it be the 2022 whiskey of the year? It's got to win it blind. It's got to win the bracket in the tournament. So we will see. If you want a sample, guys, become a patron. Pop them, don't watch them. $10 a month. Go see the Epic Sample Packs. Every month you put in the drawing for an Epic Sample Pack. The August Sample Pack will have a sample of this in there. Go check it out. Also, if you're into cigars, all my cigar reviews and cigar content is on Instagram. Pop them, underscore, don't, underscore, watch them. Guys, that is it. Nothing else to say. You see Optanium. You see Cat's Eye Distillery. Guys, buy it. You're not going to be disappointed because the price points are absolutely amazing. You see the Optanium Canadian Whiskey. You see the Optanium Light Whiskey. You see the Nassif Family Reserve. Pop! Don't watch.